Matthew Martz has always loved music. Matt was a high school student when he formed the Student Symphonic Orchestra of Fairfax. It began with 12 friends from school. One of them was Michelle Bowie. Matt is one of my very good friends, so I did it um, as a friend, but also because I love playing the violin. Michelle likes the orchestra because its members choose the music they will play. We've played some pop music. We're playing Phantom of the Opera. We're playing John Williams, who's um, a famous composer who did like Indiana Jones and Star Wars and Superman, um, in addition to the classical music. Lizzie Culbertson plays French horn. It has a really, really versatile sound, first of all. Mm -hmm. um, I can do so many things with it. Like It can be really pretty, or it can be really angry, and it can go high or low. And The Student Symphonic Orchestra now has more than 30 members, including Nicholas Black. He likes the group because its music is more difficult than what he plays for his school orchestra. The music here is much more complicated. It's a lot harder, um, but I think that's partly because it's also with uh, woodwinds and brass and the, basically with the band. Um, at school, we, it's just strings. We don't have a complete orchestra or anything. 13-year-old Kanika Sahi is the youngest member. They just show me how to be better, um, different techniques of playing, stuff like that. Matt Martz says having musicians of different ages and abilities is not a problem. If they're a player who hasn't been playing for very long, I try to keep them next to the section player, you know, or leader, as we'd call it, that uh, has been playing a while so that they can, you know, always ask a question and say, hey, I, I don't know what this, uh, I don't know what that means. Or... Matt is now in college, where he studies music. But he returns to the Washington area and works with the orchestra every weekend. This experience is teaching me, you know, how to, how to, you know, more or less teach um, teenagers how to how to say, you know, okay, we're having a problem with this section. Let's clap it. Let's sing it. The orchestra is a not-for-profit group. Any donations pay for things like sheet music. Our first concert we made uh, $1,100, um, which was fantastic. That helped pay for uh, you know a lot of the music that we had uh, um, purchased. And then this last concert in January, we made over $1,500, which was just incredible. Matt Martz says he hopes the orchestra will continue to grow and present a wider mix of music. I'm Mario Ritter.